Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of March. Okay, you're going to be watching it in February. A lot of you will be. It may resonate in February, but this is for the month of March. Okay, so it's a preview of what's to come for March. So we're just going to see what comes up. Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we have for Capricorn? Ooh, yikes. Wreath, sorrow over a loss. So there's going to be sadness over a loss. Angel. Spiritual guidance, protection from harm. There is somebody here that is protected from harm. Seahorse, family matters. This has to do with a family member. So, there is going to be sorrow over a loss. There is some sort of protection. We have an angel around. And this has to do with family. What do we have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March? Ooh, it's the hangman reversed. Now, the hangman reversed is uh, needing to let go. We are having, we have somebody here that is having a very, very hard time letting go. This person is struggling, struggling to let go of something that they are hanging on to, trying to prove a point. This is somebody that is very controlling and extremely egotistical. So some, there could be some punishment that is coming. This is somebody that is the martyr that is trying to prove something that probably is their own opinion. You know, it's their own opinion, but it's not really the majority or something like that. This is um, a need to let go. This is somebody that is very self-centered. Um, that may be feeling isolated, may be feeling extremely isolated, and they need to prove a point. So I'm going to put this back in because uh, we're going to, what I, my goal, these are supposed to come out upright, but I had to read that card for you because we, we do have somebody here that is very much struggling, struggling to let go of some idea or opinion, something, trying to prove something that isn't provable and there could be some punishment that comes with it. What do we have for Capricorn, please? Destiny. So the Wheel of Fortune. So this is destined change, of course. Whatever is meant to be, will be. This is meant to be. Something is meant to be. So this is a change in direction. So this is the end of a chapter in the beginning of a new one. This is a new cycle that is beginning. So we do have a new cycle that is beginning. What do we have for Capricorn? We have something that is meant to be that is playing out this month. Which is also the end of a chapter. Okay, it is. Something is ending. The, the Wheel of Fortune is a card of karma and destiny. So, we have a completion of something. Something is coming to an end. Separation separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon now this could be time apart from anybody we have family sorrow or we have sorrow over a loss and then we have family matters there is some sort of protection everything happens for a reason there is going to be a separation this month okay there is going to be a separation of some sort That may, that's what's causing you the sorrow by the looks of things. 
Hero font reverse. Now the hero font reverse is where have, we have a father figure here that is abusing their power, that is under a lot of social pressure. Uh, this is somebody that is having a hard time doing the right thing because of social pressure. That's a father figure that is abusing their power, that is, that is not very spiritual, that is not very intuitive, that is not following the higher powers plan. This is somebody that is under social pressure and cannot do the right thing because of, uh, I don't know, maybe it's social media. Anyhow, there is going to be a separation. Could be, could be from a father figure because a priest is a father. So there's something to do with a father figure here that is not very spiritual. This is a broken relationship, a broken marriage, uh, somebody that is unconstitutional or something like that. This is just somebody that is um, can't do the right thing cannot do the right thing but whoever this person is they're going to be experiencing a change of some sort there is a change here there's going to be a separation we have somebody here that is angry they are angry they are facing some life challenges right now this is somebody that um, is growing weary this person is growing weary um, they've, they've been, this person has fought a lot of battles. They're used to fighting. It's what they do. So we have somebody here that, you know, is a fighter. This is a, this is a person that fights and is, is at the point where they're, I feel like they're, uh, they're getting overwhelmed and they're getting to the point where, you know, they probably can't do it much longer. Um, the nine of wands is somebody that is facing a lot of life challenges right now, having a really hard time. And it's because of ego. So we do have, this person wants to win, definitely wants to win, likes to win, okay? So we have somebody here that wants to win and they just can't do the right thing. They can't do the right thing. Oh, Wheel of Fortune again. So destiny and karma is re real. This is the Wheel of Fate spinning somebody in a new direction. This is definitely the end of a cycle. We have the Wheel of Fortune, Separation, Wheel of Fortune. Now, this is a blessing in disguise. There is something that is ending in your life that is moving you in a new direction. Um, you're moving away from somebody that is uh, controlling by the looks of things, or they're moving away from you. Uh, there is going to be a separation. It is definitely meant to happen at this time. This is definitely a card of timing. Um, This chapter is over. This cycle is over. Something about the King of Cups in reverse. This is somebody that doesn't have good intentions. We have an individual that is can't master their emotions, may have some addictions, may even have drinking problems. Uh, the King of Cups in reverse is somebody that is not very grounded, very, very emotional, may have cancer in their chart. You know, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in their chart. This is somebody that is... Um, not given to follow their heart they're more they're more interested in everything other than love they're not openly emo uh, available emotionally available they don't follow their heart they're not very intuitive we definitely have somebody here that isn't very intuitive um, they're not they don't listen to their gut at all this is somebody that is um, cold we have somebody here that is cold that doesn't communicate well um, this cycle is ending with this person. Um, King of Cups reverse. Nothing to offer. No emotional support. There's no emotional support coming from this person. Um, I feel I feel like things are about to change. Definitely. Uh, King of Cups in reverse. That is somebody that is emotionally unavailable. That is very very secretive that is not very intuitive, that is probably hiding something, hiding their true feelings, not opening their heart, that whoever this person is is going to have an ending. This person does not have good intentions. King of Cups in Reverse is a person that does not have good intentions. This is somebody that is emotionally unavailable, very cold-hearted. You know, they... they, they uh, are not in it for love. It's not about love, okay? Whoever this person is, it's not about love. Um, right now, I feel like it's about winning, winning a battle. Um, 
Three of Cups. Now the Three of Cups is some, and there could be a drinking problem. I wonder if we have a drinking problem here. We may have a drinking problem, but this is a third party situation. It could be a celebration of some sort. There could be an upcoming celebration or upcoming get together. Um, now this is socializing. I see social media here or social pressure. We definitely have somebody here that is under a lot of social pressure. They've let society drive them. Very much driven by friends and what people think. That's sad. It's really sad. Anyhow, this person is going to be experiencing a, a huge loss. They are going to be experiencing a huge loss. I feel like they're going to hit their knees. It feels like they're going to hit the ground because they're not going to win this battle. Anyhow, um, I feel like I feel like somebody is going in a new direction. Definitely, I mean, with the Wheel of Fortune twice, that's that's spinning in a new direction. There, there's a new direction here. Um, we have an individual that is emotionally bankrupt. Okay, this person cannot master their emotions. They can't control their emotions. They may not be able to control their drinking if it's drinking. Um, they get in themselves involved with third party situations. They may be in a third party situation. They may be in a situation where there's gossip, you know, where there's there's people ganging up and there's just problems. So this person is facing a lot of challenges because of, you know, uh, their lack of commitment. You know, they don't, because uh, there's a lack of commitment here. So somebody is facing challenges because they don't want, their, they don't commit. They don't commit themselves to uh, changing their own direction. So anyway, I feel like this month we have a major completion. There's going to be a separation. That's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to make somebody happy because the Three of Cups is happiness. Which is interesting. Somebody is going to be happy with some sort of change that is coming. Somebody could be making new friends, meeting new people. Ooh, we have an empress here. Now the empress is a mother. Okay, the empress is a mother. She's very abundant. She's beautiful. She's caring. She does everything with love. Everybody can see her beauty. Everybody can see her generosity. Everybody can see her caring nature. Everybody. So we definitely have a motherly figure here. This is somebody that is very tender, um, valuable, abundant, creating a new life, gives birth to a new life, delivers after pain so we definitely have a mother here that is about to receive a blessing because what does the empress get she gets a blessing she gets a blessing she gives birth to a blessing after pain so there is there is going to be um, a celebration maybe it's this mother that is celebrating or this woman that is celebrating we definitely have a female or a feminine energy here that is going to be extremely happy with an outcome because this is extremely happy this is a celebration now there could be news of a birth for some of you some of you somebody could be getting pregnant or they could be news of a birth or, or news of a pregnancy anyhow this is something to celebrate so somebody's going to be celebrating they're going to be celebrating some sort of gift it's a gift okay the empress um delivers a gift so there is a gift here it's a very fertile time it is a time of growth as well so we definitely have a very beautiful abundant individual here that is worthy this person has a lot of life experience this person is receiving some sort of gift and you think about the wheel of fortune fortune okay so we we have a very uh, fortunate individual here that is about to receive something that is going to make them very 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 happy but we do have somebody behind this person that doesn't seem to care doesn't communicate that didn't open up I feel like that's what the loss is somebody is losing something they're losing something of value 
Somebody is losing something of value because they're not emotionally available and they don't listen. This is somebody that doesn't listen to any advice, none, none, very egotistical. This person is gonna is going to be distraught when they when they find out that they have they have lost they have lost this beautiful individual who it is, whoever it is could be a Taurus could be a Libra. Anyhow, um, there is going to be a change because of that wheel of fortune. Um, somebody could be meeting somebody on social media because I keep wanting to say social media, you know, or. Uh, maybe even at an at event, at a, some sort of get together, they somebody could be meeting somebody. Um, could even be a dating site if if you're into that, you know, because the three of cups can be dating. Somebody may may start dating, and they may they may connect with somebody because we have two wheels, so two people. I feel like I feel like two people are coming together. Um, I feel like it's meant to be. Okay, we have two people coming together that are meant to be. If we have somebody here that is, is has been wounded, I think both people have. So I do feel like we have two people that have been in a previous commitment that didn't work out. And I think that they're going to be coming together after a separation. I think it's divine timing here. Um, I do see the birth of a new life. I see creating a new life. I see a lot of love. Okay, the Empress is all about love. She does everything with love. Everything. She takes care of her children. So she takes care of her, her man. She takes care of the house. She takes care of everything. So anyway, this is definitely the birth of a new life. You know, this is the goddess of love. It is. So we definitely have somebody here that is destined to be taken care of by somebody that is very motherly, that is very caring, because that's what's meant to be. But we have an individual here that doesn't know what love is. And this person that doesn't know what love is is going to be experiencing a loss because whoever they are dealing with is very valuable and beautiful and kind and generous and abundant and this person has a destined opportunity that is going to be given to them there's destiny that is coming towards this person maybe somebody is coming to protect this person it could be somebody that you know has, is just about to give up looking for a relationship and they run into each other. Anyhow, the Empress gives birth to a new life after a painful s situation, obviously, because you don't, you don't get the miracle, you don't get the gift until you experience the pain. So we do, it's probably a painful time right now. So... <laughs> I feel like we, we have a painful situation going on as we speak. Anyhow, but things are about to change in a very positive manner because of the Wheel of Fortunes. So, and it's interesting. I just remembered that hangman reverse. That's punishment. We have somebody here that is uh, struggling to let go of their opinion. They're struggling to let go of whatever it is that they need to prove. And they're going to miss an opportunity. That's what the hangman reversed is. They're going to miss an opportunity because they can't let go. So I do believe we have a very beautiful individual that's going to start dating somebody else. They're going to receive something that is going to make them extremely happy. Lies are going to be exposed if somebody has been lying. You can't hide the truth. And, we, and somebody has been hiding something. They have been hiding something, you know. But the truth is going to be seen very, very clearly. Because whoever it is that they are lying about, it's clear to see who that person is. It's, it's, it's easy to see. And maybe that's where the punishment comes in. You think about lying, say if you were to go to court and lie to a judge, that's perjury. 
I heard of a woman who went to court and she lied and she went to jail for two years. Interesting. We got this two here. So I do feel like there's going to be some punishment for lying. Anyhow. So the Wheel of Fortune is a change of course. A destined change that is meant to be. There is a separation from a broken marriage or a broken commitment or something. It's meant to be because there is a beautiful opportunity for a new life here. Somebody has been avoiding the truth They've been in denial. They've been blocking their own happiness. But now, I feel like we have an individual that knows their value, that knows their worth, that is giving up and moving in a new direction towards happiness because whoever they've been dealing with has no intention of being honest or following their heart or communicating or getting in a commitment. So yeah, I feel like this is a month of change. I think it's very positive change. Very, very, very positive change. We also have somebody here that has been uh, waiting. They've been waiting for something. They've, 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 ha they've had to fight their whole lives, you know, and they've been waiting for positive change. They've been waiting for somebody to take care of them. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming for the person that knows their value. We also have somebody here that has abused somebody's generosity. They have abused somebody's kindness. This is a fraud. This is a con. This is somebody that um, doesn't treat people with respect. Therefore, they're gonna, going to have a loss. They're going to have a loss. So anyway, I feel like this month is the beginning of a new life where there will be happiness, but it always comes after pain because you don't, you don't get that new life without pain. It's just the way it goes, not with the Empress. It's time to be happy, to allow and accept But we do have somebody here that is having a hard time doing the right thing. They are being controlled by their ego. This is like a father figure that is under social pressure. And this person is not willing to commit. They're not willing to, or they can't commit. They won't commit themselves. They don't, they don't want to commit. They're not true. They're not honest. This person is about to be experiencing a separation. They're about to lose something of value. One cycle is ending and a new cycle is beginning. Consider it a blessing.